Guys, uh, look at that little chair I made. Gonna give you uh, two shout outs real quick before we start the actual film topic today. And uh, let's get to it. So I want to shout out Jersey on the Trail. She's a uh, 2020 Appalachia through hiker. So uh, she will be on that trail, I believe, in March, around that time. So uh, be looking out for her videos. And uh, like, share, and subscribe her herself as well. The second one is a uh, bushcrafter, outdoorsman. Uh, bike outdoors over there. We have a lot of similar interests and uh, sometimes similar gear. I really like this guy. Check him out. He's got some uh, good content, some good how-tos. So uh, for you bushcrafter outdoorsmen, it's a great guy to go over and check out. And uh, for you through hikers, you know, you're looking for different things to watch on the trail while you're bored. Start watching some of these uh, bushcraft channels. Every video you're going to get from here on is going to be one shout out to a through hiker and one to a bushcrafter, outdoorsman, or outdoors woman. Um, I do do support the women being outdoors, and uh, they are much better at uh, some things than we are, and definitely much prettier to look at. So uh, like, share, subscribe, guys, and uh, here's your content for today. Stay tuned. Today's video is going to be what knife are you taking with you on the AT, if you're taking a knife with you at all. So you can go with anything from um, a Swiss Army knife to just a pair of scissors. Uh, you can go with a bigger, larger knives. You can go with a lighter knife. Um, really doesn't make any difference to me. It's what you guys uh, feel comfortable carrying and uh, things of that nature. So, a few things that you want to kind of look at when you're talking about blades. Um, as far as the Appalachian Trail, you really don't need to be bushwhacking so much that you're going to need to take um, an axe or uh, a large saw or anything like that. You know, there's already shelters built. You got your tent, your tarp, whatever. What I would suggest is taking a small hand saw, you know, if you're... If you're doing tarp setup, that way you can get you a small branch, cut it down the size that you need to. Not a big deal. As far as knives go, um, definitely going to need something probably to cut your packages over with. You make do with all kinds of stuff. You guys know this already. But I also kind of like always having some way to strike a fire other than just a lighter and uh, <clears throat> camp stove. Things happen, lighters get wet, camp so igniters go out. So I opted for the uh, cheap lightweight op option here, which is uh, the more survival knife. Comes with a different pair of rod, but pretty much about the same thing as this. Um, this one just uh, gives you a faint glow at night, and it's it's a faint glow. It's nothing major. But uh, in case you guys have never seen these, um, comes with the uh, multi attachment option. That you can change out real easy. Goes with belt loops. Really works well when you stick it on your uh, sternum strap on your pack. This is uh, probably about 45 ounces. I mean, it doesn't weigh much at all. To get your sharpener there. Stainless steel thick. It's a matte tail. Meaning that that tang comes down to probably about there and drops off. So it's not a full tang. But it does pretty well. And uh, 90 degrees fine for striking a pair of rod. Um, for an all-purpose knife, uh, this does pretty good. Uh, for everything you're going to do on the AT, that would be being at a campsite, um, uh, trekking along the trail, this is going to work. Um, no, no doubts whatsoever. Uh, for a lot of you people, it's going to be a rather large knife. You may not like that, but this is an option. And then, you know, once I get to Maine and... Uh, I touch it, uh, Katahdin sign, I come back down, and my through hike is over. The journey for me is still going to go. And the reason being is because I will be getting a job staying up in Maine until the following hiking season, and then I will be going Sobo. So for me, I wanted more of a robust knife for that particular thing. And with this one, I went ahead with the Ontario Rat 5. Uh, this is a uh, more of a survival bush knife, but... Uh, it's got tons and tons of usage already. No signs of uh, it being weak or breaking or anything like that. Um, this is a rather large knife. You're getting uh, definitely a much tougher. 
Um, I have actually put this into a tree, stood on it. Uh, no cracks, no bends, no breakage. Good thick spine. Uh, the only thing about this is that you're not going to strike a pair right off that spine. It just does not come with a 90 degree, so you'd have to do some work on that. But uh, all in all, good and solid knife. So those are the two blades that I'm actually taking with me. Um, and I'll be taking a silky saw, but that's... Other than that, I'm not taking any anything major as far as bushcraft or uh, survival or anything like that. Um, my Ontario knife will probably stay in my pack 95% of the time. Uh, the more is definitely going to be on my sternum strap. Um, it's just a great utility knife. Get these things razor sharp in no time. Cut anything I need to. Make sure you're checking the descriptions below. Because in this video, they will have, I will put down the links and phone numbers to the Appalachian Trail shutter drivers and the services that they offer. I will also go ahead and put in their website link. So make sure you are watching all my videos all the way through. Otherwise, you're going to miss that kind of crucial info. And one other quick tip. This is the... Uh, Molly 2 flashbang pouch. This can easily attach onto just your normal belt or any strap that you got on your uh, backpack. But it's a perfect fit for that. So, uh, whether you're through hiking, hiking around, bushcrafting, whatever, $10 pouch. Slides right in here, guys. Clips over. Molly that sucker anywhere you like, man. Right next to your uh, belt knife, keychain, D-ring on your pack, whatever. So there you guys go. There you guys go. You shouldn't be leaving this behind anyway, but this kind of helps to make sure. Like, share, subscribe, guys. Enjoy your day.